Hello friends, let us see step by step process of how to make a BBMP Khata transfer online in just 10 minutes. Okay, these are the complete uh, steps involved. Uh, I, you can see, see on the screen, these are the steps involved. First, you have to fill in the online application form. Second, you have to upload your uh, uh, online documents. Which are the documents you have to upload is sale deed copy, tax paid receipt and income print certificate latest copy. Now you have to digital sign the document online itself with your the Aadhaar number and OTP. Uh, once th th these things are done, the fourth steps you can first step you can see that when you have uh, get uh, got an uh, SMS from BBMP, you have to go and pay the amount to any one of the Bangalore One Center. Okay, this is only one time process. The, uh, you can just go to Bangalore One Center and show the SMS uh, details which, which will contain the acknowledgement number and the amount. Just pay the amount, get a receipt from there and the, uh, you can, uh, the process will be moved on and you can download the digitally signed Khatta from online. Now, uh, one more thing I had to uh, update here is out of the document specified here, if you do not have the latest TC or uh, CC or uh, even uh, tax paid received. We have made other videos of how to make all these documents online including EC. Okay, so please watch our previous videos and one more thing is uh, please uh, subscribe to our channel so that you will know all the updates from our side and also I request you to click on the bell icon below this video and so that uh, you can get notifications of whatever video we are uploading uh, online uh, you can see one more thing in this step by step process down uh, the, the bottom of the video i have just shown occupancy certificate is not mandatory mandatory and that's a good news even if you do not have occupancy certificate you can proceed with your khata transfer online now let us go back open a uh, google page in any browser just type sakala karnataka this will, this will take you to a lot of search pages click on the first one which says sakala.kar.nic.in and this is the page where you, you are going to uh, apply for uh, transfer now if you scroll uh, a little bit uh, right side you can click on the english because if you are not uh, comfortable, you don't know, know how to read Kannada, you can click on the English, so all the text will change to English font now. So now you can see there is a green uh, text button here where you can click on Sakala Online Services. So please click on this. It will take you to a new page where uh, you can see all the services of, offered by Sakala. And rightmost, if you come to the rightmost, there is a BBMP uh, icon given Brahud Bangalore Mahanagar Palika you can click on this and when you click on this but, uh, below one more text comes up BBP service transfer of khatas click on here and transfer of khatas it will take you the real page where you are going to make uh, credentials only for the first time you have to enter your name your gender email ID and mobile number make sure things are correct click on proceed now you will get an OTP on your mobile number which you have given here. Uh, see OTP has come. Just submit that OTP. When you click on the OTP, uh, you are supposed to give a password now. Give a password, strong password. If you give without special character, you get a password like this. Pop up like this. Password is not strong. So give some good strong password and create password successfully. Uh, account is created successfully. Click on OK. Now the same page will be lo uh, loaded again. You scroll down a little bit right side and below you can see login. Click on the login page because uh, now next time onwards whenever you get a disconnection or anything you have to come to Sakala page. Click on login. You don't need to give all your details again. Now you have to give your email ID or mobile number as username and give the password which I have previously set. Click on uh, I had given mobile name and password. Now uh, the main page open up. This is the documents required for things. You can even click and read the documents. Now right side, uh, right side you can see three lines which is the drop down menu. Click on here which will take you to the services page. You can see a lot of things are there, home, check status, download, all this we'll be using shortly. Click on the application first so that let us create a new application form. When you click on the application, it will open up, uh, sorry, uh, uh, it will open up to an uh, online application form. 
just click on the online application form see this is the uh, place where you are going to apply for everything service applied for kata okay first is transfer so i am going to click on transfer because i need to do a kata transfer my property is a single property and click on citizen if you have joined property you have to click on joint but now when you click on all these three there will be a lot of uh, text loaded below the page and it says like you have to fill in all the property details your owner name transfer name what is the kata number current kata number where is the location area of the property address of the property and your contact details let us fill one by one now let us see how to fill the, all, all the details like first one is owner's name and to whom you are uh, to whose name you are going to transfer his name and allotment number and PID PID of Kata will be uh, either PID PID is the property I can show you an example so this is an example of the previous Kata document which we had obtained and uh, you can see the first Kata number will be there it is almost uh, will be 10 digit PID so you can enter the name otherwise if you have another uh, BBMP Kata number itself you can enter this Kata number there so this is the PID you are going to enter here. Now you have to select your zone, your ward number. All these are drop down. Right side you can see an arrow. You click on the arrow. It will show you what are the available options. Select the option according to your zone and state. Uh, now you have to give your flat number, address, all this, your address, current owner's address. Everything has to be given. Landmark, all these things and pin code. All the data uh, you have to give your uh, property super built up area. You can see if, you, if it is and where it is, look how it is allotted BDA, HB allotted, Gramanta, whatever uh, your, pro, uh, your property falling into, you can select. And what is the site type, apartment or independent building or vacant site, you can select here. In my case, it is apartment. Now you can give the super built up area and come down are you the first buyer of the flat if you are the first buyer from builder then give yes or your second buyer give no now this is the place if there is occupancy issued or not don't worry if it is not issued give it as no if it is yes if you are giving yes, yes they will ask you the occupancy certificate now you give your uh, mobile number and uh, email id and click on next you can see a next button here after entering all details click on next now you have to upload the document see you can select application First, when you select application, already you have created application, transfer name, that will come there, click on there and click on the document. How, how is the property you got? Okay, click on this one. I got it through the purchase build, based on sale date. So, you can select that. So, because accordingly, according to this selection only, they will ask the document. So, in our case, it is a sale deed based property. I bought it from someone through sale deed. Now, you can see three documents you have to upload. What are the things? Uh, so, say lead copy ec and tax paid everything choose file then upload choose file and upload go one by one not all together first choose file then upload sale deed okay and make sure 5 mb is the size of each file and F, uh, and uh, total size should not exceed 50 mb once you uh, once you do this uh, right you can see i have uploaded everything you can see uh, one by one right these things will come uploaded you can view also or if you can if needed you can delete also now click on the submit button yeah so we are going to submit the document upload it now this is the place where we have to digitally sign your document because uh, see you have to just say this all my documents right by digitally signing it so in uh, see don't, don't worry if the website is logged out in my case it was logged out just again login now go to uh, application click on application now you can click on e sign documents if it is logged out in between okay everything will be saved you can see no need to repeat the process again so go back to transfer name and click on submit then again the same page has come okay again click on the submit below so it will go back to the uh, signing in page so okay yeah so this will not happen usually in my case it was logged out in between so uh, now again enter your other number okay once you enter your another number click on otp you will get a otp enter the otp here click on submit so that will just your make your uh, document digitally signed so now once it is done if it is any issue you can even uh, ask for recent so you can get something like this when some things are done right there will be an acknowledgement number sent to you uh, you will get it as an SMS also you would have got an SMS so keep that number that is uh, needed to uh, for everything okay now 
if you click on the right side uh, uh, right side uh, again come back log into the page and you click on right side uh, so drop down menu you can check the status or if your application you click on check status and you click on here select application the number what you have got in the message the same num uh, application number will show up you click there it will uh, take you to the status of the application so say that uh, uh, bbmp will after all this process maybe 7 to 10 days bbmp will send you an sms saying that this is the charge you have to pay okay so now as we mentioned in the beginning go there uh, in the bangalore one center with your message show them you pay the charges get a receipt so then that process is done so once you get a, again a message saying that all the things are done then just what you have to do is come here again log into this page uh, click on this uh, right side of menu icon uh, what you can see here now click on here now see things are down so you are going to download click on the download button okay here when you click on download it will show you the options of e signed khata certificate so this is the thing you had done all this process for right click here e signed khata certificate it will take you another page where you can download e signed khata now click on here select the application when you click on select application it will drop down uh, the drop down menu will come with your application number click there it will take you to the download uh, page you can download the khata there so this is the all process download is complete uh, thank you very much i hope it will help you and uh, i humbly request you please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button right side bottom of this video or even you have uh, a subscribe button below this video and there is a bell icon below this video if you click on this uh, you will be getting all the notifications of all these kind of uploads we are doing thank you very much for subscribing see you